What's happening YouTube? It's Mike French here and we have some really, really cool stuff for you today. But before we get to what the video is about, let's check out these race cars behind me. We're in the Desert Assassins race shop where I work full time and we have the number 16 trophy truck driven by my boss, Cameron Steele. He's the driver of that. Uh, we just got a second place in the Baja 1000, so that's cool. And then we have the number 14 trophy truck. This is what I work on full time right here. Uh, it's a Geyser Unlimited trophy truck and it is also the first Geyser trophy truck ever made so that's pretty cool and then we have our class seven truck seven open truck it's a ranger uh it's three linked i high beam truck pretty cool um but yeah so that's enough race car stuff here at the desert assassins let's talk about the video we have something very special today something that most people do not have we have a full-blown real deal freestyle ramp that's right so my buddy skylar not too long ago was like hey mike let's get a freestyle ramp so we can hit a consistent lip and we can learn how to whip and stuff. So anyways, we found one on Craigslist. He stepped up, uh, threw the cash down for it and I'm gonna prep it, get it nice. So let's check it out. It's right behind me. There it is, the real deal. So this is actually a trailer that it's built onto and this is a real freestyle ramp. It's called like a Rev 2. It's for a 75 foot gap about and you can see there's it's a trailer built in. It actually holds two bikes, but there's a winch system and that actually lowers the entire uh, you know, ramp down. And then this is the top piece. You could jump it half ramp, which we did, and it's very poppy. Or you can jump it full ramp and put this piece up and we have yet to do that because you need a 20 to 30 foot landing for that so we're going to get this thing prepped and nice it's all rusted and kind of you know it needs work um, it's weathered it needs to be pressure washed painted the wheel bearings need to be prepped it needs new lights so that's what we're going to be doing um, so let's pull the pressure washer out and let's handle some business right now guys all right here we go All right guys, so the ramp's all clean, ready to start disassembling it. Got all the dirt off, so mainly what we're gonna do is pull off all these lights that are broken and stuff right here and replace them with some new ones. Pull this off, got a couple broken welds. This weld right here is cracked, as you can see. So gonna fix that. All these welds are really horrible, whoever built this ramp, but we'll try to fix up some of them, but definitely not the best of welding done, but it's structurally good. So anyways, gonna pull this off, fix that weld, and then we're gonna paint it and then start getting some new lights and stuff and put it back together. That's the plan. So we got the ramp, it's all washed down, ready to go. We did the weld on it and fixed up a few other things, took the old lights off, and we're gonna paint it now. So we're gonna spray on some rust oleum flat black paint, and after that we're gonna rewire it and put on all the stuff so that's gonna be good to go as a trailer. All right, let's jump into the paint job. All right, so here's the gun that we're gonna use right here. Boom, electric gun. There's the paint we're gonna use, flat black rust oleum, and you just gotta use a strainer, strain the paint, throw it in there, and you're able to shoot it. All right, let's do it.
right guys, we got that freestyle ramp right here. It's all painted. It's got three gallons of uh, Rust-Oleum flat black paint sprayed on with electric gun and it came out great. It's been sitting here for about a week and a half since I painted it. I didn't have a chance to film right away. Um, so it's kind of dirty and stuff from this tree above it. But guess what? Look at how good this paint job is. Absolutely amazing. Super stoked on the outcome of it. So, you know, we did a weld, we fixed that. We uh, painted the ramp and now it just needs some uh, t uh, tail lights because the tail lights are all messed up and the wiring is all eaten by rats. So gonna put some new tail lights, gonna rewire it. It goes uh, through the frame rail. I'm gonna pull through some new wire and I got this kit right here. It's gonna be perfect. It comes with two lights and some wiring. Uh, and then we got this universal pigtail connector. I'm gonna put that right here off the front and we'll just wire all that up and we'll be good to go guys. So let's check out the final product when it's all said and done. All right guys, so we got the ramp all wired up and ready to rock and roll, it's street legal now. Um, we got that new wiring kit all in here. Got all the wiring running through the tubing, all nice. It's all zip tied, ready to rock and roll. We got, boom, new connector on there. I put a plastic casing to keep it nice. Um, fix the jack, put a bolt in here and greased up the jacks, that works great. And yeah, the ramp, the paint, holding up great. It's been about three weeks since we painted it actually. It's been sitting out here. Uh, you can see where the wiring comes out of the tubing, all zip tied nice, runs through the tubing over here, so it's not gonna get ripped off or anything. Got our new trailer light, looking great. Look at that, boom, ready to rock and roll. And we fixed a weld over here as well. Um, and yeah, so looking good, looking good. Trailer light on this side as well, right there. And yeah, so the ramp's ready to go. Skylar's gonna pick it up and we're gonna take it out to the property. And then we're gonna be getting a Bobcat, building a landing and we're gonna be hitting this thing on the 450s and throwing some big whips, you know? Maybe actually hitting some pit bike stuff uh, with it at half ramp, but we're definitely gonna put the full ramp up and we're gonna jump it at like 75 to 90 feet. So that's gonna be that. We're gonna pull it out to the property. We'll build that landing. We'll have videos and all that. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You guys are not gonna wanna miss out. Got it all hooked up, ready to go. Going out to the property. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Sick. Yeah.